get off uh, get off the brake please okay press the gas for me press the gas it's around a bit get gear one for me Hey guys, welcome to another video and another mock driving test. As always, before we get started with the test, if any of you are still learning to drive and want to save time and money on your driving lessons, check out this short clip about the ultimate driving course. Hooray! So this course really filled my knowledge gaps and I became more confident. After watching some of the videos on the course, I felt really comfortable with the extra knowledge. Before I passed my driving test, I was really nervous. It really helped me have more confidence and I would take what I learned during the course into my lessons and really aid that. The videos obviously help you because you're going into that lesson knowing exactly what you're going to do and just having that knowledge just makes that lesson faster and you feel a lot better. 38 easy to understand precise videos covering every single topic required to pass the driving test. These are not just theory based, they are practical videos demonstrating everything from moving off and stopping a vehicle to all of the manoeuvres and every other module required. So if you're lacking knowledge or maybe your instructor has forgotten to cover something or you're just not grasping a certain topic then this course has it covered. You can watch the videos before your driving lessons, which means you'll get into the car knowing exactly what to do. This will definitely save you time on your lessons. Okay, so today's learner driver, we have Rahul. And so guys, um, Rahul, he's uh, not one of my learners, just like uh, the other learner drivers that come on the channel to take a mock driving test. Uh, they just come here for me to assess their driving and see if it was the actual driving test if they would pass or fail yeah and any mistakes obviously they can they can learn from those so Raul could you tell us a bit about your driving yeah I've had, about, had around 15 hours of lessons so I just want to see where my driving's at today so any mistakes hopefully I can pick on today and just amend from there cool so you had about 15 hours around 15 hours yeah which isn't lo a lot of hours yeah yeah okay so um, do you actually feel ready for the test um, my instructor thinks I'm nearly there, so I think hopefully with a few more lessons, then hopefully, um, hopefully soon I will be. But cool. I'm nearly getting there. Cool. Not not too far away. Is there anything in your driving that which you feel are oh, um, you're not? Too yeah, good I at think that? keeping to my lane on roundabouts, okay. especially when they're especially when you know when you have to just follow the cracks on the road when it's not marked. Does that, that okay. make sense? Yeah. Like I'm trying to, uh, I struggle sometimes to keep in my lane. So cool when it's unmarked. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe maybe that's something I need to work on. Cool. And have you covered everything with your instructor? I've covered everything, and now it's just now it's just the point where I need to um, get confident with with things. Cool then, uh, Raul. So you know how it works. Uh, you watch the videos, yeah. Um, if you do make a fault, I won't say anything. Yeah, I will talk about that at the end. But for you guys who are watching, uh, the faults will be displayed on screen just before they happen. Okay. Um, the serious faults will be in red text and the um, normal driving faults will be in amber text, any good points in, in green text, yeah. So um, the show me, tell me questions, have you covered those yet or no? Uh, no, not just yet. Okay, we leave those up, okay. but, but make sure you do go through those, yeah, yeah. okay, before you test, obviously. So yeah, um, whenever you're ready, Rahul, if you could move off, please. Okay. And guys, just want to mention that Rahul hasn't driven this car before, yeah, but he's local uh, from Wolverhampton, so that's, uh, that's a good thing. Should be familiar with some of the roads. He carries out good all round observations before moving, checking the right blind spot just before setting off. When moving, Rahul brings the clutch pedal up too quickly and stalls. He does take a while to restart the car, but gets there in the end. to restart this car to make sure the clutch pedal is fully down yeah okay before sliding down it's important to check your mirrors he doesn't check the mirrors he also selects first gear when second gear would have been a better choice this slows us down too much He 
He does well overtaking this bus. I like how he doesn't hesitate and decides to overtake. He carries out good mirror checks before overtaking. Okay, now if you could follow signs to Kidderminster, please. Here he shows good awareness by noticing the giveaway markings and making the correct observations. Now he is looking out for the signs. Whilst doing this, he slows down too much. There is a vehicle ahead. Rahul should have noticed it and reacted sooner. Look on the right way. Yeah, this yeah. is the correct way. Yeah. Again, he's focusing so much on the signs that he doesn't check the mirrors or signal when going to the left lane. There are cyclists ahead. He does well to overtake and leaves enough space, but he forgets to signal before and after overtaking. I've only marked this as a fault because there was another vehicle behind us, otherwise it would have been okay not to signal. Ahead the two lanes merge into one. Before they merge, Raul should check the mirrors to ensure no one is overtaking. He should have checked them earlier, but does check them just in time. Should it park up anywhere safe on the left please? He parks up well, in a good position, using the correct routine. Thank you, and move off when you're ready. He moves off well, carrying out good observations. We're on an uphill road, when moving off, Rahul doesn't have the clutch pedal high enough, so rolls back. Luckily, there was no one close behind. And if you could turn right at the traffic lights, please. When turning right at these lights, he continues in fourth gear. He should have selected second. As we approach, the lights change. We are too close to stop. Rahul makes the correct decision to go. He should have exited onto the left hand lane, but chooses the right hand lane. He does the correct thing by moving back to the left when it's safe. Again, he doesn't check any mirrors before slowing down or before speeding up. And now if you could follow signs to Warsaw for me please. He approaches and enters this roundabout well. 
but when he saw the signs to Warsaw, which is straight ahead, it looks as if he was about to signal right, but then changes his mind. Until now, Rahul has been doing okay and hasn't made any serious driving faults. But this all changes as he has a really bad few minutes in which he makes 8 serious driving faults. Now Colesley is towards the right third exit. He isn't able to get into the right hand lane so decides to go the wrong way, which isn't a driving fault. But he tries to enter the roundabout when it's not safe to do so, I had to intervene. So let's go there, yeah. It's around a bit. Get gear one for me. Okay. You got it, yeah? Okay. Is it the um, third exit? Yeah, we were, we were supposed to take the third exit, yeah. So do we just go straight to head here now? Your call, yeah. Yeah. After entering the roundabout, he should have stayed in this middle lane, but drifts over into the right-hand lane. Roundabout, if you could turn right, fourth exit, please. He does this roundabout well. this roundabout, he gets into the correct lane on the approach, but enters the roundabout without looking to the right before entering. Right, second exit. He enters this roundabout well. When exiting, he steers too much to the right, so he's positioned incorrectly. Now when going uphill, you should select your gears later than normal. He attempts to select gear 3 slightly early, but that isn't the major problem. The problem was that he selects gear 5 instead of 3, which means our car is about to stall, so I step in to change gears as there is a vehicle behind. But as soon as I do that, Raul presses the brake pedal. Luckily the vehicle behind wasn't falling too close. Get off, uh, get off the brake, please. Okay, press the gas for me. Press the gas. More gas. More gas. That's it. I carry on. Oh, 
Lucas. So use again. At the end of the road, turn left please. There is a turning to our left. He should have waited to pass that before applying the signal. When approaching the end of the road, you should select first gear just before the end so that you are ready to go if it's clear. It was safe to go, but when attempting to move off, Rahul stalls a couple of times and misses numerous safe gaps to go. He does his left turning well, but doesn't notice the new speed limit signs as soon as he enters the road. Soon he reaches 27 miles per hour. I had to ask him to slow down. On the approach to this roundabout, he slows down a bit too much too early. He enters the roundabout well, but again doesn't stick to his lane and drifts over into the middle lane. This roundabout, he approaches and enters well. Now at this point, he should have moved over to the left hand lane as he was safe to do so. This isn't a fault, but does lead to making a serious fault at the next roundabout. And at this roundabout, straight ahead please, second exit. Now he moves over to the left well, but doesn't cancel the signal. There are vehicles entering the roundabout, so I had to ask him to cancel the signal. Like I said, if he had exited onto the left hand lane to start off with, he wouldn't have required this signal. Your signal, please. If you could turn 
left to this car park. In this car park, I'll ask him to carry out the reverse bay parking manoeuvre. You could continue a bit more forward. And if you can stop anywhere around here. Now when doing this manoeuvre on your driving test, the examiner will give you a choice of any bay. If possible, try not to aim for a bay next to another vehicle. Rahul selects the bay next to this black car and gets pretty close. And reverse into one of these bays please. Okay, so I'll reverse into any one of those bays. He carries out really good observations when reversing. He also checks the right blind spot as our vehicle swings out. Am I a bit too close to that car? Again, I would love to help you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. As long as you don't touch it, you're okay. He is getting closer and closer to the vehicle that's parked next to us. Now at this point, if Rahul had straightened his wheel, he is in a good position inside the bay. But he doesn't straighten up, so keeps getting closer to the vehicle next to us. He's still heading towards the car, so now I'm about to step in which would have meant this is a serious driving fault. But Rahul realises and reacts just in time. You can see the relief in my eyes. Now we're going to end the test here, let's find out Raoul's thoughts on his driving. Okay Raoul, if you could switch off the engine, because we're going to end the test here now. Okay, how do you think that went? <laughs> um, not very good. I think definitely messed up on the roundabouts. I think, I think well, what I messed up on a lot is my nerves. I think when my nerves kicked in I just... I didn't know what I was doing and then uh, I think a lot of the times I was in the wrong lane and I just got confused or I think yeah I think a lot of the a lot of the times I was just um, getting very confused of where I was going because I was just getting very nervous and I think also at the roundabout I should have slowed down a bit more to stop but I was um, but I was about to carry on Good. Yep. That was it. You know what? The roundabout is going quite well. To got to those big roundabouts, yeah. Like with um, when I've been doing roundabouts in my lessons, they've been. It's been all right. I think it's just. I think it's just that I messed up a lot because of my nerves, and I, I just kind of thought, oh, what am I doing? Cool. I think everything just went out of my head. Cool. Like I said, it was going well, yeah, until we got to the roundabouts. I'll just quickly run through your serious faults, yeah. Okay. So, at the roundabout, yeah, um, so you had a few minors before that, yeah, okay, faults. But your serious faults all started from, you know, the first big roundabout when I asked you to follow signs to Cosley. So you're following signs to Warsaw, 
Yeah. The room came to the roundabout towards Colesley. You saw the sign. It was towards the right, wasn't it? So you were trying to change lanes, but you couldn't get over. So you, you stayed in the middle lane. Yeah. And then you were about to enter the roundabout and you, you didn't really check. Yeah. Well, the way cars come, it's hard to stop you there. Yeah. So obviously that was a serious fault. Yeah. Okay. Forget about your test, but should you be entering any roundabout to be there checking if it's yeah. safe or not? Yeah. It doesn't matter if you go the wrong way. Okay, and then after that, you enter the roundabout in the middle lane, so you were like, I'll, sh I'll just go straight on, which was a good decision, yeah? But, you're in the middle lane, as soon as you enter the roundabout, you drifted over into the right-hand lane, yeah? Blocked a car that was in that lane, and then moved back to the left as well. So that was another serious fault for not staying in your lane, okay? And then, um, after that, I asked you to do a U-turn, day the fourth exit, yeah? Which you did quite well. Yeah, you you know when you exited roundabout, yeah, which lane should you exit off in? If in the left, if it's safe. Yeah, if it's safe. Yeah, I think that's one thing you need to work on. A few times it was safe, but you were still opting to exit in the right lane, which isn't a it's, it's not a fault. You were coming back over to the left though after it, yeah. So, but if you can do it on the roundabout, yeah, uh, do it if it's safe to do so. Yeah, and then so. You exited that in the right hand lane. I said we're going straight ahead, second exit, yeah. Then you moved over to the left lane, which was good. That was the correct lane. But you entered the roundabout, you were like, oh, I think I'm in the wrong lane, yeah? That wasn't the issue. The issue was you entered the roundabout again, that roundabout again, but you didn't check to the right at all before entering, yeah? Obviously, I'd look. If there was someone coming, I would have gone for the break. But that was the main concern for me, yeah. Entering doesn't matter big or small roundabout yeah but your small roundabouts are pretty good but entering any roundabout without observing like you said i think it's more to do with you're a bit confused about where you're going yeah but is going the wrong way a fault no no yes yeah, just think okay i'm in the i'm in the wrong lane if you're not too sure about your lane just go the way that lane takes you but make sure you do it safely make sure you check everything okay so yeah you did those three serious faults within like a couple of minutes yeah and before that you didn't have any and then soon after that we we're going uphill yeah you you were gonna go into gear three but you accidentally put it into gear five yeah and what happened see the car was struggling wasn't picking up speed yeah and then what i was about to do obviously i've got to give you a chance till the end and then just before it's about to stop yeah i was i, I went for the clutch to change the gear but as soon as i did that you went for the brake and there's a car behind us as well okay should you just hit the brake like that? No, check the mirrors first. Yeah, but was that vehicle behind us expecting us to brake? No. No? Okay, so what you need to do is just clutch down, gear one, and carry on. Okay, I think that's one thing that needs to work, you, you need to work on your own hills. Because after that, when you came to the end of the road, with slight uphill junction, you're not using the gas, and you kept stalling, and then because you weren't 100% with that, you missed loads of gaps, and there's a queue of traffic built up behind us. Yeah, so that turned into serious fault as well. Okay, so uh, your main thing, hills and big roundabouts. Yeah, you need to, obviously you, you got a few lessons with your uh, instructor still, yeah. Make sure you you go through both of those, yeah. Then after that we did, um, we went to the roundabout, it's 20 miles an hour. You didn't notice the speed limit sign. Yeah, and you were putting your foot down, you reached about 27 and that had to slow you down then. Okay, so a serious fall there for going too fast. And then here, near the end when I said um, at the round, but we're continuing straight ahead. Yeah, um, you signal left to get into the left lane for straight ahead, but then you forgot to cancel your signal. And there were vehicles emerging onto the roundabout. They would have thought you're going left and they would have pulled out on you. Yeah, so I had to ask you to cancel your signal there. That's another serious fault. Yeah, so all, they said, oh, your serious fault on roundabouts, um, and on uh, slight uphill roads, okay? So that, this manoeuvre that you did, you're going perfectly into the bay, you're saying I'm quite close to the car. You weren't that close to the car, it was all good, yeah? Oh yeah, did you know when your vehicle was straight, you had to just straighten your wheel, you didn't straighten your wheel, so you, the back of the car kept getting closer and closer. I was like, okay, if he moves back any more now, I'm gonna stop you, yeah? Then that would have been a serious fault. But luckily you're like, okay, you saw you were close, you got gear one, you went forward and sort, sorted it out, so that was fine. Okay, so that wouldn't have been a serious fault, so you did the manoeuvre okay. Okay, if you're in any doubt, if you think you're too close, just go forward and readjust, you're allowed to do that, yeah. Okay, any questions, Ro?
Um, no, I think I, th I think you know when I was um, going on, you know when you come to a roundabout. Yeah. It's supposed to. It's supposed to be gear two, isn't it? Gear yeah. I think. I think what I did was. I think a lot of the times I forgot to put it in gear two. I think sometimes I did forget to do that. You, again, even if you're approaching in, in gear three, sometimes yeah. It's okay, but the main thing is entering the roundabout. Make sure you check it safe. Yeah. yeah. Gears are like obviously you, you can sort that out uh, uh, as you get closer, or even if it's a bit a little bit late, it doesn't matter too much. But the main thing is observations. Don't switch off there. You didn't switch off. You like focusing on so much other stuff that you forgot to check, and that's one of the most important things. Yeah. You understand? Or rather, you stall beforehand. But never into a roundabout without looking. Okay? Yeah. Uh, mirrors, in general, pretty good. Especially when you're changing lanes and that. Just remember before braking, check your centre mirror. And when moving off in traffic, check your side mirror for cyclists as well, yeah? Okay? Cool. Rahul, thanks a lot for doing the mock Thank test. You. Yeah, and guys, like always, um, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.